I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Fab and Fit Over 40. Four women looking to be in the best shape they can be as we age. Today, abs, core, and balance. Super important for us to train these muscles to help keep us upright and help us prevent or at least minimize falls. We're going to focus on those abs, we're going to train those core muscles, and we're going to get you looking good as part of our Summer Shape Up series. If you're looking for time efficient, workouts for women, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready to work that core? Let's go. Okay, big arms swing around. Let's move one leg up, hold your tummy tight. Start to work that balance a little bit, other side. Real quick warm up here. I want to get this tight on time workout done, up and over. Now I have a chair. The beginning, you need to work on your balance. I want you to use your chair. Use it as a ballet bar. And eventually we're going to work on taking the hand off of the chair. Okay? Right now, beginners, I don't want you falling. Alright? So it's all about practice. Practicing balance, forward and back. More advanced, been with me a while. I do this without the chair, probably. We are starting with the leg swing. We're going to swing your right leg. I'm going to hold my chair forward and back. Forward, forward, so I keep my... Now, abs tight. Ready? Here we go. Forward, back. Arms off the chair. Catch yourself if you need to, especially in the beginning of a move. As your brain recognizes what you're doing, it's going to help with your balance. Now, my standing leg has a slight bend in it. I'm not locking that knee. Swing in this, feel those abs, hold them tight. Abs and core, doing a lot of work here. It's your stabilizer muscles in your core area. So hold that balance, and as you practice, you're gonna get stronger. And this is gonna get easier. I know it's hard, you're just starting out. I know that I started out once too. I was a beginner. And my balance, I have to work on every day as well. It's not something that you just get and then you keep, right? You have to keep doing balance work. Okay, other side. This is a great workout right here. Quick, tight on time and get you some really, really good strength training. Forward and back. Just work those abs, core, and balance. Make sure you catch yourself if you need to. See, I still need to grab that, especially on this side. I'm left-handed, so my right side is working right now. And it's not as coordinated as my left side. Front and back, halfway through, come on. So I lose my balance more on my left leg. So you'll probably notice that as well. Whatever side is working, if that's opposing your dominant side, the balance is going to be harder on that side and that's normal, don't worry about it. Totally normal, good. All right, taking a rest. I'm gonna grab one of my medium weights. These rests are quick, so pay attention. We're gonna show what's going up and we're, we're at the move. Pushing down with a twist. Down, push it, bring it up, and leg lift. Down, in, leg lift, go. Now, if you're just starting out, take out the leg lift, just twist and push. Crunch, push. Feel those abs work right here. Add that leg raise, more advanced. Just throwing in a balance element above and beyond the balance of twisting like this. Same thing on that one leg. Bonus is you're getting a little glute, and the glute truly is part of your core. The torso area, it's all core. Feel it? Feel it, good. Most of these are back and forth. In fact, I think all of them are. And uh, so we'll do one side and then the other. That's how you get balance work going from one side to the other. Okay, you ready? Crunching down, other side, to your left. Down, over and press, or press and leg lift. Down, over, twist, press. Down, over, leg lift. The leg does not come off the ground too far. Standing on that opposite foot. Squeezing the bum right there. What? So, these 10 minute workouts are no joke. Think 
about it. We do five, 10 minutes of workouts a week. That's almost an hour of strength training or cardio strength training, whatever you're choosing to do. That's up. All right, I am moving my chair, just so you can see. You don't have to move your chair. I'm using a weight in my outside hand. We're going down in a deadlift position and up. If you're just starting out, do this without weight and hold on to your chair. I am just keeping a hand on that chair as I pull my abs tight, move through this move. I try and take my hand off the chair, let that balance kick in. This is the hardest move in this workout. Getting up towards the middle part of the workout here. Knee is slightly bent. Take that leg back as far as you can. Straighten it if it's possible. Hold the abs tight. I know I keep saying that. I probably should count how many times I say that in an ab core balance workout, but we want to train our abs, right? We want to train them to be tight. So hold them tight. Teach them. That's what training is. It's teaching. We're teaching them to be in the position we want them to be in, which is pull in, right? How we go by a mirror and we pull it in. All right, ready? Ready? Check my clock, two. Here we go. Move the chair, especially in the first couple moves. Once you feel like you've caught your balance, you take that hand off. You really advance. I mean, you could do this with two raises because the weight kind of throws the balance off, but so you can do like that. So the counterbalance. I think if I have weight in my other hand, it might pull in too far to that side. So you can go ahead here, do the dance. Abs are tight. I know, I said it again. Knee is slightly bent. On the standing leg. And then the rest. Good. Okay. Go on to a suitcase swing. I'm going to grab a medium weight. Comes up quick. Like you're holding a suitcase. Down. Bring it up and hold with the side leg raise. Now, hold your chair if you need to. Other hand, you would hold your chair. Down, up, and count. Three, two, one. Take it down. Bring it up, hold. Three, two, one. Good. Bring it up and hold. If you want to stay with me. Just starting out. Take the leg raise out, okay? Just having that weight over your head is enough. Hold on to the chair, please. Before you know it, you'll be doing a lot of this without the chair. You gotta train it first. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> yes. And press. Wow, okay. <sighs> Other side. Now again, I'm standing on my left leg on your right side. This side's not gonna look so pretty. It's gonna be harder. And you have to grab that chair with you right over there. <laughs> Down. Here we go. Down. Bring it up and hold for three. Three. Two. One, here we go. Down, swing it. Swing up and hold. Three, two, one. All right, see if I can do this one without the chair. Third one's off on a charm. Good. I made it. Almost. Three, two. Right, see how your body adjusts. Your brain recognizes the need to balance. So that's what we're training, right? If you were to go into a fall, your brain recognizes the need to balance. So it's going to scream. If you stabilize your muscles, you Four muscles, your ab muscles. Hold tight. Protect that body. Doesn't mean you might not get hurt in your fall, but let's hope, grabbing a lightweight, that it would be less injury than had you not worked out. So we got a cross punch come in, crunch. Ready? Push, pull, crunch up to the side. Abs tight, crunch, glute tight. Look in the waistline here. Now I've used this as a cardio move in workouts. This is not cardio. I want you to push, pull, crunch. Slow it down. It's a kickboxing move. We're adding weight to. If the weight's too much, put it down. Just do the move. Five more seconds. And on the other side. And you're done, just like that. All right, catching your breath. And press across, and then crunch with the opposite knee. Five seconds. You have 40 seconds, and we do a quick stretch, and you're done. Get ready, here we go. 
crunch it. I went all fast there. Spin it down. Get my glute squeeze. Really good crunch on my waist here. You're almost there. I want to thank you for being with me. If you're new, just seeing my videos for the first time, welcome. If you've been here a while, so happy for your support. I ask everybody to please subscribe to my channel. There's no cost, and it helps me grow and be able to bring you more and more content. All right, that's it. Great job. Reach up and over. Right away, we'll stretch that oblique, the waistline. Ah, deep breaths. Let's go to the other side. Nice, nice job. And I want you to put your hands on your knees. Flat back, okay? Pull that belly button in. Round your back. Now, I can't round much. Flatten that back brace on. Round it. I want you to round it. Pull it up and make it round. And flatten Unless you're wearing a back brace or you had spinal surgery, I want you to round it as much as you can. All right, round and roll up. Roll all the way up. Big shoulder rolls from holding that weight. Thank you for being here. Deep breath. Exhale. One more time. Deep breath. Exhale. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It'll put it in your YouTube library. You can come back and do it often. I want you to have a great day. You did an awesome job. See you next time.